Because of the length of the video, I've decided to break this up into multiple parts. So let's begin with part four. The pot with the on-off switch has come in. It's a little bit different than what the original was. It's got a little bit longer shaft. And it's got wire wrap terminals on it as opposed to eyelets. But I think we can make it work. So let's pull the old one out. Measure it. Cut this off. And hook it up. Okay, here are the two pots, the old and the new. And looking at the shaft, this shaft on the new one is a little bit longer. So I've measured out both shafts. I put a mark on it, and we'll go ahead and we'll cut that off, and then install the new pot. Well, I can obviously see that I need a, a vise here on the bench. I'll have to go out to the garage and dig around and see what I can find. But in the meantime, let's see if we can cut this off this way. Well, there we go. We've got it cut off. Let's temporarily put it back into the case and put the uh, knob back on and see what it looks like. Okay, the switch works fine. So let's go ahead and solder the switch up and check it out. Okay, with the lead length on these being that long. I'm going to cut those off. Okay, new switch is in. Okay, now that we have the switch installed, let's go ahead and test it out. I've got it plugged in to the isolation variac. Um, let's go ahead and bring that up to 120 volts and turn it on. There it is. Okay, sounds good. Now 
the noise that I was hearing, the harmonic noise, um, I believe was due to no load on the, the, the high gain input. If I plug it in, well, the final thing I want to do is replace the two input connectors with B and C. As soon as I get that done, I'll be right back. Well, I've got the B and C connectors on the front, uh, replacing the old connectors. They're here in this Ziploc bag. What I'll do is I will neatly fold this up and tape it inside and that way uh, anybody in the future can go ahead and put this back to stock. Here are the old components, the capacitors, the electrolytics, um, resistors, and the variable uh, watt meter pot with the on off switch. The next stage is to straighten out this frame and take a look at the cabinet and clean it up and straighten it out. Then we'll go ahead and reassemble this. Okay, that's fairly straight. Let's take a look at the cabinet. Well, the cabinet definitely needs a good cleaning. And it looks like the, uh, the handles are bent as well as the frame. So let me get that straightened out first and then I'll clean it.
You're probably wondering why I'm using steel wool. There was some rust on here that needed to come off. But I'm going to be repainting this. But right now, it's below freezing outside. And uh, you'll have to wait until spring. Okay, we got a fairly good cleaning on here. Okay, let's start to reassemble here. We'll put just a little bit of clear Loctite on there. Okay, we have an assembled unit. The next thing to do is to test it out on a radio. Here we have the garage radio and I've removed the speaker lead to indicate a trouble. Let's go ahead and just do a front end and an audio check here. There's the front end. Here is prior to the volume control. And here is the volume control. So it looks like this unit's working. So let's go ahead and put it on the workbench and continue on with other projects. If you found this video useful or entertaining, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thanks for watching.